Hello, beautiful people. I'm Matthew Barry, CTC Master Therapist and Your Transformational Coach, and today we're going to talk about manifestation. Sounds like this wonderful, exciting thing, right? This prospect that you can put an idea and perhaps attach a feeling to it out there and attract to yourself whatever it is that you desire, even if it's outside the immediate scope of perhaps what you think you can create in the physical. Thing is, we surround ourselves with all of these challenges. And these challenges we often perceive as problems in our life, objects that we need to move. Now that is precisely the reason that manifestation is so often not working for people. Because they're so invested in all of the things that are happening around them that they are observing in the physical that they think are problematic. Problematic. Now what do you think that word means? It means it's something that is not right. Something that you're judging. And so long as you're contributing that energy to it, you're actually holding it in the physical, in your immediate environment and in your experience and line of view. So, what's the trick to getting past it? Well, like so many things with energy work, it's actually about attention and focus. Your focus at all times needs to be moving towards the positive, the things that are actually constructive for you and not holding you back. Unfortunately, the way so many of us have been trained to operate in this reality is to be focusing on the things in the physical. The things which we can already see and which have already manifested in this dense physical reality around us. Fortunately, we live at a point in time and space where all these beautiful new energies are coming in that are causing everything to vibrate at a higher and higher frequency. The exciting thing about this is that the more of these energies that come in, the quicker we are able to manifest whatever it is that we desire but also the quicker and more completely whatever it is that we are contributing our energy to becomes a part of our reality. And that means that if we continue to believe that we are in this third dimensional duality reality and we continue to create our reality by observing what is already around us, then we're creating a closed loop for ourselves. I have another video where I explain this cycle where energy is underneath absolutely everything that we are experiencing. And it's the component that people are not looking at. Because when missed, people continue to fail to see that whatever they are observing, they are giving energy back to and creating more of. So they get stuck and they just go around in a circle in this giant rat race. And it's not getting them anywhere. They conclude that this whole manifestation thing doesn't work and they move on. And that's sad because actually, the more completely you have got yourself stuck in your circumstances, the more completely ready you are to move past them. Because the more, the more, the universe is sending you these messages to try and show you what it is that is coming into your reality that you would like to change. That's actually how the universe works. It sends you these lessons, these signs to yourself that you're ready to change. Because it's a test of sorts. Not a test that's wanting you to fail or wanting you to succeed. It's completely neutral in meaning. The only meaning anything has is the meaning that you give it. But it is this opportunity that you have. An opportunity to see something that you've been contributing energy to and to make a change. It's a fork in the road. You can continue to contribute energy to the old and allow that to continue to show up in your experience. Or you can decide, okay, I see that. I accept that. So in accepting it, you're no longer giving it any of the negative energy that you were before. You're not attributing meaning or judgment to it. You're not making it a problem. Instead, you can attribute some positive meaning to it, and then you start moving your entire future into a different direction. Quantum physics indicates to us that all potential realities actually exist out there in the quantum field. And you, being an energetic vibrational being, are constantly moving in the direction of whatever reality you are in alignment with. Alignment is key. I mentioned before that your heart, that your emotions are like a barometer for whatever it is that you're experiencing. What is meaningful to you and to source, to your higher self, that part of you that is connected to all things, will always feel light and it will always make you feel good. So whenever a thought or a situation or a person is making you feel good, that is an indicator from your body and your higher being that by moving towards that, you're going to create more of that feeling. Whenever something causes you to feel ill or to feel disease or any kind of negative emotion, really, that is a sign that that particular thing is going to bring you out of alignment. And by continuing to think about, contribute meaning 
to any of those things, you're bringing yourself more and more out of alignment, which desyncs your entire being. It blocks that natural flow of energy that leads to abundant health, and it stops you from feeling positive emotions. It's the reason people wake up in the morning and they're already tired before they start the day. Why they so feel the need to comfort eat. Why they need to supply themselves with whatever form of replenishment they can, rather than just showing up as the most ultimate and abundant version of themselves that can be a real contribution to others. And when you're able to do that, you bring it out in others. Because you, right there, are the embodiment of what their inner source is telling them they want to move towards. So you become a beacon. Light attracts like. Okay? So, how do we step into this ourselves? Well, set the intention now to notice your heart barometer and what it is telling you throughout your life. Notice whenever something feels good. Now the key to this is realising when something that you think is in the physical that you can't change shows up. Perhaps it's a relationship. Perhaps there's a person in your life that is constantly doing something that definitely does not feel good. Something that is bringing you down and you think that's their problem, that it's on them to change it. Or you, perhaps you think that maybe you can do something that will manipulate their behaviour that will change that for them. I'd like to dissuade you of that right now, okay? Because at no point can you ever change the behaviour of someone else. It's impossible to manipulate or control people to get what you want. Because if you're feeling the desire to do that, you emotionally are coming from a place of lack and struggle and resistance to where you are, right? And whatever energy you put into an action is what you're going to feel at the end of it. So if you resist another person, the result of that is going to be they resist you and you feel a whole pile more resistance. It's a horrible mess, okay? So, notice and appreciate where they're at. Accept that it's one of these signs that the universe is sending you of what you would really like. And rather than contributing energy to it, rather than resisting it, simply accept it and direct your attention towards what you would like. This doesn't mean you have to like it in the moment, but it means you are choosing to take your own power back and control your reaction. Okay? This is Emotional Management Techniques 101. Do not contribute that negative energy to them. Do not react off of them. Accept and align yourself with Source. Because your Source energy knows exactly what you want, and as soon as you step into that, you will begin to feel that state of infinite love and abundance. Continue to contribute your energy to that, and that energy continues to be contributed to the space of your vibration. This energy stays in your space for up to 30 days, and whatever you've been putting out there is physically in your space. You can't see it with our eyes, but there's so much on the light spectrum that we cannot perceive with our five senses. It's there, trust me. And you are actually experiencing everything through that lens. So whatever you see, if you've got a whole pile of negative emotion out there and judgments, you're going to see through that lens and you're going to apply them. You're going to correlate them to one another. And then based on that whole model we've been working off of, you're just going to keep adding to it. So do the opposite. Put all of that positive out there. Continue to contribute your energy to what source knows you are capable of creating. And you'll start to perceive that and it will have a snowball effect. You will create more and more of what you desire and the law of attraction will become easy to you. Okay? I hope this helps. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and find us on Facebook to join in with my series of alignments that I'm doing at the moment where we all contribute to a collective to download and receive from the energy of abundance and of infinite love. Okay. Much love to you all.